God, I thank you so far what you've done in the service. I pray that you would continue to just open the ears, open the hearts, God, to allow them to just receive what you have for them this morning. I pray that you would just be with us through the rest of the service. And all God's people said, Amen. awesome. Again, thank you, Pastor, for letting me do this. When you walk in the darkness, what usually happens? I like to ask questions and you have to respond. So just feel, feel free to respond this morning. When you walk in the darkness, what happens? You run into walls, you hurt yourself, you stump your toe. I mean, the, the list could go on for hours. So we come to the conclusion that when you walk in the darkness, you ended up getting hurt, right, fish? Pretty bad sometimes too, right? Exactly. All right, let's look at Matthew to not be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew is right there telling us that we don't need to hide our light. We don't need to be hidden from the light. We need to be standing out on a lampstand, shining our light for Jesus. God wants each and every one of us to shine. All right, kids, I'm talking to you guys. When you're around your friends, what are they seeing? When you're around your friends, are you letting your friends kind of put the influence on you, put the, put the basket over you to kind of dim your light? Because maybe your friend wants you to play this video, video game that your parents are like, no, son, I don't want you to play it. Your other friends might play it, but you... You're not going to play it in this house. Or maybe your friends want you to listen to the certain music. Or maybe your friends want you to, um, to cheat on a test. They keep on putting baskets on you. Or are you going to be the friend when you're around your friends? Are you going to let them say, you know what, I'm not going to have you put that basket on me. But I'm going to let my light shine. God has called each and every one of us to reach this dark, dark world. I don't have to sit here and explain to you how dark this world is and how much this world needs to see the light. God also has called us to not blend in. If we were to blend in, how would we be different? We would not be different. So God does not want us to blend in. He has called us to stand, just like Matthew said, to stand on that hilltop, to shine our light for His glory and for His honor. You may, you may say, Miss Krista, my friends, they always put me down. They always... Um, they want me to do these bad things, and my light just can't shine. You know what? Maybe you have to say, you know what, bud? I can't be your friend until you get your life right with Jesus. Or just take a step back, because you don't want that guy hindering you from getting what you have from God. Mitch quoted it the other day, and he said, you only know one way to act around your friends. If you think about it, these are your friends that you're around tw pretty much all the time. So, of course, you're only going to know one way to act on them. And so when your life gets changed by Jesus... You're going to have a hard time when you go back into that comfort zone, when you go back into your friend. Don't be rude about it, but just say, I can't be your friend until you, you reach out to Jesus. And you have, when you do that, you have to say, I'm going to pray for you, though, and you have to let God reveal his light to you. Like I said a while ago, if you're acting just like your friends, how can you be different? How many of you have friends that don't know Jesus? Pretty much every one of us in this place can raise their hands. If you're acting just like that friend that doesn't know Jesus, how can that friend know there's something better, something greater that they have? Most of our friends are walking in darkness. And if all they see is darkness all the time, and you have that light, but when you get around those friends, that basket is covering it, how can they see Jesus? How can they see the light? How can they stand out? We know God's light and what it can do, but if we're acting the same, how does anybody know it's different? Because trust me, guys, your friends are looking, your friends are searching for somebody to be kind of that crazy one that just kind of stands up for Jesus, that crazy one that's just going to say, I can't cheat on this math test today. If I fail, it's my own fault. Or maybe I can't play this video game because my parents stand against it. Or whatever the case may be, you just have to take that stand and be that radical friend that, that shines your light all the time. Again, God has called us to shine on the hilltops. He wants us to shine so we can reach people and let people receive his light. It's going to be short and quick because these guys have the attention span of a little kid. So, parents, for you today, are you leading the example that God's called you to lead? Are you being the woman of God that God's placed you to be the mother in these kids' life? Husbands, mans, fathers, are you being the fathers that these kids need to see? 
because trust me, your kids are looking up to you. Your kids see everything you see. Your kids, sometimes they mock you, but when they mock you, are they gonna be mocking you in a good way? Are you showing them, are you leading your kids down the path of darkness? Or are you leading them down the path of light? Proverbs 22, 22, six says that we have to train up a child in the way it should go. I'm not a parent, but I've been placed for these kids and I'm trying to train these kids. But God has placed each and every one of these kids in your home to lead them into the light. Because if you lead them into darkness, how, how are they going to succeed? How are they going to, to live? How are they going to be anything one day? But trust me, if you lead them in the light, you stand and you're the example, you're shining in the light, your kids are going to say, man, my parents are pretty cool. Sometimes they get on to me. But it's really your own fault. So your kids look up to you, parents. Your kids want you. Your kids need to see you shining a lot because if they don't see you shining a lot, why should they change? If you as parents aren't going to change, you as parents aren't going to step up and say, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't watch this TV show or maybe we shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that because it's not good for my kids to see. Maybe your kids aren't even in the room. Maybe they're at a friend's house. It's still the same. Because God's in there. Where are you letting your light shine? And are you letting your light shine today? Just like this drama said, Riley, he said that, that are you going to be the cool Christian that has the iPhone, has the iPad, has this clothes, has this, and has everything? But like we sang earlier, everything's going to fail us. Clothes are going to get worn out. iPhones are going to die and get cracked or whatever the reason is. They're always going to fail us. Are you going to be the person... Like Ty, that used all of his smarts to put it all into this. He tried it by himself. He had that macho attitude with, I can do this, me alone, nobody else is going to help me. But when that storm came, it was broken. He couldn't do anything. Are you going to be the person like Caleb? That person that's a little bit different from everybody else. But they were prepared. They had their lot to not only shine for him, but just shine for the other ones around you. Are you going to be that person? Kids, are you going to be the kid to stand up in your class like Reagan's video and help somebody that's being bullied? Are you going to be the one that's going to stand up and say, you know what, we don't need to do that. We don't need to talk about them. Are you just going to be that one that's just going to be a little bit crazy? That's all it takes. Because trust me, if you let your light shine, God's going to shine His light straight through you and miracles can happen. Miracles can happen. Are you prepared to shine your light. Bow your heads with me this morning. God has called each and every one of us to shine our light for Him. Are you doing it? You may say, Miss Krista, I don't know this light you're speaking of. I've never, I just know darkness. I just have darkness in my life. I just have all this darkness invading me and I don't know what to do. I'm looking for something different and you need to say God I need your light in my life I need you to come down and live in my life and save me from this dark and lost and lonely world if you need Jesus to come into your life this morning just raise your hand and this is not just for the kids but for everybody hands raised everywhere just repeat after me it's a prayer but if you truly mean it in your heart I promise you Jesus is going to come and live in your heart dear Jesus come into my heart Take away all the darkness and put your light in. Put your love in. Thank you, Jesus, for washing me white as snow. Amen. Another question. Do you have for the ones that are already saved, are you walking in God's lot? Or you might say, you know what, my lot sometimes gets faded, sometimes gets that basket put over when I'm around these certain friends or when I'm around that friend. If you're in here today and you want or you need God's lot to shine through you because you're tired of being the same, you're tired of joining the crowd, you're tired of being like everyone else, and you want God's lot to shine through you, just come up. These altars are open. Just come up and say, God, I need your lot to shine through me. God, I need your love. God, I need you to come and invade my lot so your love would come. Just come. These altars are open. Young and old, it doesn't matter. If you're in this place this morning and you say, God, I need you. Everywhere I go, 
my basket just gets covered up by friends. God, I need your strength to live a life so my light can shine. I need your strength, God, to live the way you've called me to live. These altars are open.